Good morning guys, welcome to a Sunday vlog for the first time in a very long time. Coffee is required. We are just having a chilled day today. Oh my goodness, what's going on in here? There's some kind of animal play day, daddy daughter situation. What are you guys playing with? Dinosaur. Wow, oh, super cool. Can I come and play? River has told me I can play with a Diplodocus. Is this a Diplodocus? I don't know my dinosaurs that well. You're better than me. Who knows? It's a Diplodocus. It's a Diplodocus. So we have no plans today, do we, Mike, really? No, super chill. It's one of those glorious, super chill That's Sundays. Sweet. The weather outside. Arachisaurus. Arachisaurus. It's a Arachisaurus. Oh, it's a Arachisaurus. Now, put it in the carrier. Carrier. Do, 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 do. What, no, in my pocket? No, in my thing. Oh, in okay. My... So yeah, we just have a delightful, super chilled Sunday. I wanted to get in the gym this morning, but I'm feeling lazy. We can I think I might have to like... Get in the gym. We can do it. Mike is motivating me right now. Can you give me a pep talk? Right. It's time oh, coffee. to get on it. It's time. <laughs> it's time. Get your ass out of your pyjamas. Yeah. We and into both, some gym we can gear. both do it. We have the power. We can take shift. I was wondering, could I please have... I oh, know, I can't see. For Christmas. It's what I want for Christmas most in the whole world. Are you reading Christmas, Love Christmas story? Amy. Mm. <laughs> P.S. My house is the one. Thank you. The Doing it, guys. I'm in the gym and I'm going to do a workout, but I just came in and I'd forgotten we have the entire gym floor covered in floorboards. I'm gonna get on the machines anyway, I don't need the floor, but it reminded me to update you guys on a new house project we're starting next week. So these floorboards are engineered wood, but essentially it's using reclaimed wood for the top. So they look like old, big old floorboards. These are going in here, which you guys might remember. So this is our little cinema room, um, which, the decor in here, not so much, like, I love the panelling, that's staying. I think we're going to paint the panelling. I'm undecided whether to keep the posters. I'm thinking not. I really like them, but they're really badly framed. So maybe we'll reframe them again. They've kind of gone all wrinkly because we did them and we did them badly. Anyway, the sofas are going, which kind of makes me sad. These sofas are basically like marshmallows to sit on. They're so comfortable. But um, we're getting a new sofa in here and we are changing this carpet to those floorboards and we're going to paint the walls and it's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. And I also wanted to show you, <laughs> look at this comedy gold. So this is Mike when he was like, I think it was just before we met, so he'd have been like 21. <laughs> and I think he got it done, here's his friends, uh, <laughs> by a, one of those like street artists in Paris. <laughs> And anyway, when we moved house, um, he found it and he put it there and it's been there ever since. Because this is a room that like, you shut the door and it just gets forgotten about. So, um, yeah. Anyway, that's the next like house project, but it's starting next week, which is very exciting. I, whoa, <laughs> the light went crazy. I'm going to get on the treadmill. I think I'm going to do an hour today. Um, I think I'm going to do half an hour run, half an hour spin. Or maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes, and then some weights. Because I've been so slack recently. And, yeah, let's do it. I'm just procrastinating now. I'm literally, like, avoiding it and talking to you guys instead. Which is not what I need to be doing. Okay, bit of an interval update, because I'm only halfway through. I just finished on the treadmill. Um, <laughs> a little bit sweaty. And I've just noticed, Mike was in the gym yesterday. I come in and I'm like, what, like, what is it with boys and, and tidying? Like, <laughs> just... It's almost like he's worked out and just been like, yeah, I'll just put the weight there. Or, yeah, I'll just put the bands there. I just, like, just drops them on the floor and leaves them. I'm like, and who's going to pick it up? Me. Me. Workout done. I feel so much better for actually getting off my butt and doing it today. Ribby is watching some cartoons and eating an apple. Hey, baby. And this I... Is, this is a... What is it? Um, it's... Um... She's been getting really into watching anime. Do you mean anime? Is that what you wanted to say? No, it's not anime. Oh, it's not anime. What is it? It's... It's... Um, what was it when I said to my daddy? I don't know, because I wasn't here. It's a mystery. It's a mystery cartoon. Is it Pokemon? I'm going to go and hop in the shower now and get ready for the day. And then I also <gasps> remembered... I'm going to introduce you to the guinea pigs. We need to clean them out. Are you going to help me clean out the guinea pigs? <laughs> yeah? 
give them a new fresh home. Uh huh, she'll help me, that's good. I haven't introduced you guys to the guinea pigs yet, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, surprise, we got guinea pigs. And they're super cute. I'm gonna get ready, and then I will show you Piggy. Shush, man. Piggy says, but it's Sunday. I bark on Sundays, and every day of the week, every hour, every minute of every day. Piggy be barking. Also wanted to quickly show you these leggings, which I recently got. I'm so happy with them. They're the best gym leggings I've had in ages. They're actually from the Adidas Stella McCartney range. This mirror is old, so it literally like, I mean, you can't, it's got such foxing and like antique bits on it. Um, but they're so comfortable, so flattering. They have like these panels on the detail down the side that's really flattering because it kind of goes in here. Um, and I just really like it. I think they look really cool. They're really comfortable. And they, they were expensive, but they've washed really well. I've worn them a few times now and they come over here. Um, and then they have at the waist, the waist panel is like super high and super wide, this bit. So they really like suck you in. And I really like them. I think they're really flattering, but also kind of a cool design, like they're black, but they're still interesting. And I'm hoping you guys can see them from doing this, but yeah, these are my new leggings and I love them. So while Mike is outside on the trampoline with River, I thought I would take this opportunity to do a little bit of pampering. Um, Sunday morning pampering. I've just put a face mask on, a hair mask on. Um, I've actually used the new Olaplex one, which has literally just come out, Olaplex number eight. First time I've used it, so I'm not sure if it's any good, but my God, it smells nice. Wow, I will let you, it smells like Christmas. Weird, weird timing for them to release something that smells like Christmas. But I'll let you know how I get on with that. And I'm also gonna be using the Current Body um, Hydrogel Mask with my LED masks. Now, I've spoken about these a lot in the past and I'm actually working with Current Body for this video because they've offered me a discount code. Whenever I speak about these, I get asked about discount code because they are expensive, but my God, are they good. I actually haven't used mine regularly for a little while when i first got them in kind of autumn winter last year i was obsessed and i wore them every day and i was really good and really d diligent 10 minutes a night and i literally they're so comfy to wear you can just put them on and sit there because they're made of silicone and they literally will bend around your face which um if you've seen some of the others and how uncomfortable they look they're like hard plastic um is so good and they also have the neck and decolletage area one as well so it goes all the way down on the skin too um so anyway i have a discount code for these i get asked so much every time i talk about them i'm like do you have a discount code because they are expensive but they're so good but i've started using them again recently because my skin has been so unhappy since everything started opening up again i've been wearing a mask more and i've been getting really bad sleep as well because river hasn't been sleeping that well and i just feel like my skin is feeling it um in terms of just looking tired and dehydrated and not glowy um if you guys don't know about led kind of red light technology it's something that is often used in like professional salons it's something that i usually add on as like an extra and you can often add on as an extra to a facial so a lot of the time they'll have the professional ones in salon and you can pay say 30 pounds for 30 minutes or whatever at the end of your facial um and i massively noticed the difference from doing that so therefore when i got this one it's just amazing to be able to do it at home and for it to be it's obviously not free because you have to pay for the product, but as in, you can do it every day. And it's like unlimited use of it. So good. The way um, LED technology works, I'm not obviously a scientist to tell you about it, but essentially it helps your collagen production in your skin. So if you are in your 30s like me and you started to notice like the first signs of aging, fine lines, it's clinically proven to help reduce fine lines and wrinkles, which is fantastic, but it's also going to give you like a real glow and kind of give your skin just a bit of a boost. My skin just looks happier when I've been using it. It's basically the best way to describe it. But anyway, I'll show you um, what I do because I don't always use them with a mask underneath, but if you are going that little extra mile and you want a kind of a boost of hydration as well as the LED benefit, then it's good to put a hydrogel mask underneath and Current Body actually sell these as well. This is gonna look super sexy. This is when River comes in and runs away because she's scared of him. Like that, and then you literally put the mask over the top. Yeah, checking I've got it undone properly. 
I'm gonna have to do it up quite tight because my hair's wet as well, otherwise we're gonna slip slide everywhere. But it's actually pretty comfortable to wear. I kind of look crazy now, and then when you light them up, it looks like this. So you, you, you look a little crazy, a little crazy. But you can actually go about your day doing other things, whereas a lot of these, I'll put the neck one, I'm actually gonna put the neck one on as well. Um, a lot of these are super solid, so you literally like can't walk around with them. But these are quite good, and the battery packs last for ages, genuinely. If you want kind of an extra boost to your skincare at home, yeah, I look crazy. I know, I know, I'm fully aware. I'm gonna put this underneath here, try not to flash you whilst I'm doing it. There we go, there we go. And then have 10 minutes. I might actually do my nails. <laughs> okay, so that is after skin and hair, actually. I've just put on, obviously I've used the um, mask for 10 minutes and then I've just done my skincare. I used, um, the New Zealand's serum. So I used the vitamin B serum for my current breakouts. And then I also used the vitamin E for extra hydration, a little bit of my Indeed, the lighting's a bit weird here, um, a little bit of my Indeed Isolix 2 eye cream and then my Elemis Pro Collagen SPF 30. So that's skincare on, I haven't done my makeup yet, um, but I just thought I would show you the after from that mask. And it's just amazing, because you, you see like an instant kind of boost in your skin, it just looks happier and glowier. But you also, I look super shiny because of all the products, uh, I'm gonna put makeup on, on top, but you basically also like the results over time are just really, really good, especially for an at-home treatment. I'll also put the code on screen here so you can get a discount if you want to um, try it out yourself. For the hair mask, I'm actually super impressed by this as well. I haven't been that impressed by Olaplex products in a while. Their last few launches have not wowed me. But this one, which is the number eight, I actually think I prefer it to the original at-home mask, which I think was the number three. It's so nice. It's the Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Really nice. So, yeah. Right, I'm going to get ready and then go and introduce you to my new little friends. Growing on a bear house. We're going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh oh. A long wavy storm. Pushy, pushy, pushy. <laughs> you are so cute. Do you do this at school with your friends? Yeah. Going on a bell. Going to catch a big one. What a beautiful day. So we've got a tasty treat. For the guinea pigs, got them some spinach. The other pig, no tasty treats for you, piglet, I'm afraid. <laughs> Excuse the dirty cage, because we're about to clean them out, but here are our little piggies. Hi, guys. <laughs> Should we get you out? Are you ready for some fresh sheets? This is the hutch where they live. It's actually two stories. Any other guinea pig owners have guinea pigs that don't like to go downstairs. They basically live upstairs unless you put them in the bottom bit, which means that the top gets super, super dirty because they essentially only go in this bit. Um, but I have put down fleece bottoms this week. We've had the guinea pigs for like two and a half weeks now. We started off with wood shavings. Hello, look at you. This oh, is, he's stretching. He's this stretching. Is this is Rexy. t Rexy's the most confident. Um, the little tricolour one that's at the back here is called Baby Bum. You can see her bum there. And then the scaredy one who is in here, the little brown one, is Chomper. And she's definitely the least confident. You are the most confident by a country mile, aren't you, Rexy? Rexy is by far the most inquisitive as well. She's so funny. She's got a real character. Um, anyway, we started off with wood shavings and they were just so messy. Because the front of this cage is open, they were just like blowing down here in the dog door where the dogs and the cats, obviously there's a cat flap there, is right there. So we were getting wood chips everywhere and this actually works really well. So what we do is they basically only really poo in this area. <laughs> Um, which is great because it's at the front of the cage. So we essentially like clear it out every single day We just sweep out all the poo and the, and the leftover hay from that night Put some new hay in and then they're good to go and then once a week we wash everything because um, we have like uh, Essentially like incontinent bed pads underneath um, I tested these out I only bought one set and I tested them out first because I wanted to make sure they were good enough and doing a good job it's so much easier and so much cleaner. Um, so we wash everything once a week and then 
They're basically fresh most of the time. Hello. You go and see if Treacle's okay. But yeah, as you can tell, they're a lot more confident. Like once they get used to you, um, these guys are very, very cheeky, inquisitive characters. And I've bought them some spinach. You want to try the spinach, guys? Which they absolutely love. And what I try and do as well is put the spinach at one end and then clean the other end out because it's a lot easier. Put it in here. They've rooked this up. So oh, we've got the guineas, I'm gonna shut that side so it doesn't fall off. She doesn't fall off, I keep calling them he. In their fresh little house, is it nice guys? They probably like it stinky to be fair. Um, but yeah, and then I've given them a little bit of a freshen up up here. I also cleaned out downstairs which didn't really need it because they don't go down there. But there we go, here they are. I might just put the camera here for you and see. Because if I'm holding it in their face they get a bit scared. But they might come out and say hello if I just leave it there. Three very happy little piggies for you there. We will get them out later for a bit of cuddle time, but we are now gonna go and get some lunch. We're gonna get takeaway Nando's. We were gonna go and eat at Nando's, but we're thinking like there's no way we're gonna get a table because the sun's out, so we're just gonna get a takeaway. Um, and I'm really excited because I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to cook. So we're currently eating Nando's wraps in the car because somebody decided she wanted to have a little schnoons. So there we go. Happy Sunday. I mean, <laughs> we're so wild what these better days. than a beanie wrap? <laughs> and chips. Mine is extra hot, it's actually. We are home now and me and my little singing assistant yeah. are going to make flapjacks for daddy, aren't we? And yeah, this yeah. week, but what? Daddy's gone. Daddy's at the driving range hitting golf balls. And we are going to make a flapjacks, but we're doing a little bit of a different one this time. We're going to do like spiced hazelnut. Um, I kind of make the recipe up as I go along. It's always kind of the same ingredients, but a little bit of a different take on it um, with the spices and hazelnuts. We're using organic porridge oats. We've got cinnamon, no, that's nutmeg, cinnamon and ginger, some vanilla essence, some blue agave and hazelnuts, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like loosely chop these so they're not whole. A little bit of whole meal flour and then also some um, flora melted. I normally use coconut oil for this but I have run out so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see how they turn out. A Little bit of baking before bedtime. Piglet is sharking for the leftovers on the floor. Do you want us to drop something, Piggy? I don't think porridge oats are quite your bag, but okay. Put the oats in. Yeah. We'll put this in. You squeeze this in. Squeeze. Lots and lots. Like all of it. Switch to iPhone camera, because we're out of battery. Are you doing a good job stirring, Ruby? Yeah, I tried it. You tried some? Was it tasty? Yeah. We need to take the nail varnish off your fingernails, Missy, before school tomorrow. <laughs> Literally, it's school picture day tomorrow. This weekend, she made me paint her fingernails and she's covered in temporary tattoos, which look a bit red because I've just tried to wipe them off. Um, hopefully, these are going to come off a bit more in the bath. I got oil on them. I swear oil used to work to take temporary tattoos off. So River has given it her seal of approval, haven't you, Riv? Is it good? Yeah. Delicious. And um, who made all this mess on here? Who was that? Mm. I wonder who that could possibly be. You did the mess. You. You cheeky monkey. You Oh my gosh, what's going on in here? Oh River got what's in the middle of it? I don't know. We seem to find out. River got it's from a bath bomb, stuff. a troll's bath bomb today. <gasps> Oh. There's something, a flash ice cube. What is it, Mike? Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Yeah. It says it's an ice cube. I think you can put it in your drinks, Riv. I don't think, yeah. It's for the bar. Wow. Put it in the bar. It lights up your bar. Also, before a little one jumps into them, I want to show you the punny pyjamas I bought her last week. These are from a brand called Their Nibs, which I've actually found a couple of their 
PJs in TK Maxx before, but I bought these directly from their website. How cute are they? PJ, not PJ Masks, TK Maxx. Um, they actually do grown up versions as well, like adult ones, but they don't have the frilly sleeves and the frilly bottoms. They're just like straight shorts and a, and a short sleeve shirt. So I didn't order them for me, even though they're very cute, but I just, what are you doing? I love the print. Come on Pickles, story time. Wise elephants sat down beside Tiger. Different animals are good at different things, he said. <laughs> and a silly I have a long <laughs> nose. Some <laughs> animals have short noses. You are a fast Stop runner. Some animals are a slow Stop runner. Daddy's silly voices. It's quite a lot later now. Can you turn that down a sec, mate? Noisy, get what are you watching? I'm watching Guy Martin, Battle of Britain. Oh, oh, what a boy. Because we just tried to get Rivers to sleep. It took she so long. Not want to go again. So long. And we all ended up falling asleep. She still wasn't asleep. No. So finally she is asleep. It's nearly 10 o'clock. I've got a confession. What? Did you eat the flapjack? No. You burnt the toast? No. It smells of burnt toast. What? I ate all the bread. That's okay. Is there not some in the freezer? No, there's only. Oh, you finished the bread. Finished the so tasty. basically, oh my god, guys, there's a bakery in London called Fabrique. Um, I think it's a chain. I don't know how many of them there are, but Tip -top. Mr. Toasty, Mr. they're like toasty, toasty bread. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. We had a loaf. Um, it's like the largest loaf in the world, and yet I yeah. somehow managed to finish it in about two days. Mm -hmm. It smells really bad of burnt toast in here. That's because the last little bit of crust is a tiny bit burnt. It's like gassed. So it may suck that I've ate all of the toast but really resorting to crackers right is page. one thing i know i'm weird but, but really mm -hmm. i'm glad that you're happy that this is tasty because literally weird. i'm gonna put you at the other side of the bed tonight and if that wasn't already the strangest dinner i'm also finishing it off with a sample of my flapjack that is now cold but i think it's good Mm, it's good. A weird combo, as Mike said, a weird combo of gingerbread man and flapjack. I'm down with it. But tasty. <laughs> I'm about to start a new book. Have any of you guys read this? It was recommended to me after reading Girl A um, by, you know, like the Amazon algorithm or whatever, but um, it sounds good and creepy. And I haven't read a creepy book in a really long time. And I thought I would start a new book because we have also finished... TV show that we're watching, we have just finished watching Snowpiercer season two. We watched season one and two back to back um, on recommendation from Victoria from In The Fro. Oh my God, it's good. I don't know when the first season came out, presumably a couple of years ago, because season two is already out, but season one is good. Season two is super, super good. And it's one of those things that I've seen the trailer for it on Netflix loads of times, like I'd been served it loads of times and it just didn't look that great. Actually, it's such a good show and you don't really get into it until maybe like four or five episodes in and then it gets really, really good. So if you're looking something for something new to watch and you haven't watched that yet, I would definitely recommend it. I mean, it's got one of the best acts in the world, isn't it? Sean Bean. Oh, a legend. So good. So he is. Sharp. He's... If anyone's never watched Sharp before in their life, <laughs> Get on it. Okay, thanks for that. It's epic old school Sean Bean. I mean, you or Game of Sharp. Thrones. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, back in the day when I was a kid. So good. Um, yeah, he is good. He's really good in it as well. He's like, he's not a nice character, but he is like, plays it really good. Well. He plays it really well. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go to bed now. Hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Um, ours has just been super slow, hasn't it? Super chilled. Um, very relaxing. And see you very soon. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs>